Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Wonderbook Book of Potions. Next chapter. Ready for the next chapter? Oh, so what can we do? Cure for boils. Shrinking solution is the next chapter, guys. That's it. We did cure for boils on the last video. Soon. Open the book. Open the book. Open sesame. Let me guide you and I can teach you a lifetime of secrets in potion making. Simply touch this humble object with the tip of your wand. That is all I ask. Prod. Prod. <laughs> oh! Now please, don't panic. Don't be alarmed. I've waited for this chance for hundreds of years for the right reader to open these pages at just the right moment. The boot was a port key. Ah, okay. Oh, so, thank you all for joining us here in this most challenging and enchanted of gardens. Welcome to the Wizarding School's Potions Championship. Our three champions are setting off. There they go. At last, we are late. And the champion from Mahotokuru School of Magic in Japan is heading to the bridge, looking to take an early lead. But you'll have to beware of the river troll. Yeah, best watch out for that. Now, if you all would... Oh, what's this? A late entrant from Hogwarts? This is most unorthodox. Quietus, <clears throat> if it were up to me, I wouldn't let you compete. However, the rules do state that once entered, a champion is bound by a magical contract. They must compete. Well, hurry up. You're already behind. And good luck. We're in. This is my chance to win. I mean, to help you win. The moment you <laughs> opened this book, I sensed it. The talent shines out of you. Together we can do it. Together we can win the contest for Hogwarts. Right, let's begin. The shrinking solution is a useful concoction which will require utmost concentration to make. Are you ready? Use your wand on the page. The shrinking solution. A more subtle potion than many appreciate at first savour, the shrinking solution causes creatures to shrink to a younger form. The potion is best used on such hardy and monstrous creatures as will not yield to charms or jinxes. Though it is also known as a great aid to revenge, and oh. to my dismay, Practical jokes. In other words, it is the cunning wizard's choice. Now, we'll need to test your potion later, so a toad might come in handy. Use your wand as before to activate that fine illustration of a toad. Point and press the move. But this book, my masterpiece, contains more than just my genius. I also gave it a number of powerful enchantments. Watch! Oh, look, the toads come alive. Ha! <laughs> Fly away, butterfly. Don't get eaten. Ah, an amphibian. Keep an eye out for him. Small animals are always useful to the potion here. And how do we concoct the shrinking solution? Read the potion recipe and we can get started. Point your wand down at the rock. The shrinking solution is a useful concoction which will require utmost concentration to make. Are you ready? Now, let's see. Some ingredients you must gather yourself from the garden. That is one of the rules of the championship. 
So, shrivel things. Those shan't be hard to find. Daisy roots will be plentiful. Ah, fresh leech juice. Yes, potion making does require you to get your hands dirty. Ah, yes, read a recipe all the way through, and you shall be rewarded with a collectible ingredient. Ah, it seems you can follow the simplest of instructions. Yay. You should get along famously. You can look again at the recipe if you want by using your wand on the picture, but for now, turn the page to begin making the shrinking solution. Greatness awaits. Our first ingredient is shrivel fig juice. First, we'll look at a shrivel fig up close. Then you can harvest them and mash them, ready to be added to the potion. You now, I don't suppose you know your shrivel fig from your screech snap, so pay attention. A magical plant with powerful properties in potions. The finest shrivel fig specimens are found in Abyssinia. Time to take a look. Pick up your magnifying glass. Now, you're looking for the fruit, but the plant's not in season. You'll have to rotate the book around and around until the fruits come out. Hold the move button to read. <coughs> Leaves. The fragrant leaves of the shrivel fig possess certain medicinal properties. Keep examining it. There's more to learn yet. <coughs> leaves. The fragrant leaves of the shrivel fig possess certain medicinal properties. So we've got to keep rotating it. That looks interesting. Stop turning and have a look. We are looking for the fruits. Ah, there are the fruits. Look at them with your magnifying glass and press the move button to read all about them. <clears throat> Fruit. The fruit of the shrivel fig is actually the flower. The blossom grows inside the fruit. Just hold your controller right on top of the clippers to select them. Yes, but I'm missing something that I haven't found yet. Just hold your controller right on top of the clippers to select them. Tilt the book forwards. You need to see the pages. It's hard because if I tilt the book, it changes. It changes. It's uh. There we go. Well, I think I got all f all of them. <clears throat> roots. The roots of the shrivel fig are aggressive in their grip on the earth, helping the plant to thrive even in the most unwelcoming environments. Sh 
shrivel figs are essential for our shrinking solution, so harvest some. Hold your clippers close and press the move button to snip good. The recipe only calls for two figs, but right, swap back to your wand there. Let's get you... We need them juiced for the shrinking solution, so use your wand to move some shrivel figs over to the juicing board. Then we'll smash them with the mallet. Good. Now move the... Good. Now move the rest of them... Time to bash the figs. Swap to the mallet. Now, some recipes call for peeled shrivel figs, but if you ask me, they need a good bash. <laughs> Now use your wand to pick up. Now pour it into the cauldron. Now pour it into the cauldron. In you go. Oh, my poor arm hurts. Stop there. That's two figs worth of juice. Perfect. Next, we stir. Unorthodox, but that is the true genius of my shrinking solution recipe. Swap to the spoon there, then dip it in and slow. That's it. Nice and slow. That's the way. Now the potion must be simmered. Carefully. This recipe requires only gentle heating. That's it. Now another. It's getting chilly. More heat. Just like that. Excellent. There we go. Perhaps you've some skill after all. Perfectly brewed. And this is a Yay! <laughs> you can use it to mix up your own concoctions. That's one ingredient brewing nicely. I shall make a potioner of you yet. Turn the page for the next ingredient. Next, we need chopped daisy roots for the shrinking solution. Ready? A potioner must know their ingredients. Let's take it. Next, we need chopped daisy roots for the shrinking solution. Ready? This cheerful little bloom is commonly considered a weed, but has a number of uses in potion making. <laughs> now, what have we here? Pick up the magnifier. We are looking for roots, remember. Try just brushing away some of the soil with your hand to uncover the roots. Or you could always try... There we are. Roots. Use your magnifier on them now. Oh. <clears throat> roots. Daisies are often considered weeds because they thrive in inhospitable conditions and are resistant to bugs and even magical pesticides. Now you can keep looking or pick up your wand to move on. I'm going to keep looking. You'll need your wand next. Swap your tool for your wand. <clears throat> leaves. Daisy leaves can be smooth or hairy and <laughs> are edible. You'll need your wand next. Swap your tool for your wand. <clears throat> Flower. The daisy takes its name from day's eye because the head of the daisy closes at night and reopens in the morning. Now, swap to your wand. We must have fresh daisy roots for the potion. There. You will often find that you have to defend daisies from local wildlife oh, before gathering them. Oh, hedgehog. Ah, look, a gnarl. These little things will gobble up any oh. <laughs> daisies, so we'd better send it packing. 
I have a feeling we'll need to defend the daisies. Better cast a stunning spell. Hold the move. Good! Now we are ready to use the stunning spell to defend. That's the way! Don't worry, it won't do any permanent harm. <laughs> now it's drunk. Now these grumpy creatures will demolish the daisies. Quick, flick your stupid eye. Keep stunning them now. I'm defending. And again. No daisies shall be eaten. Pesky little things love daisies stumped out of the air. How? A hit! Keep at it! There we go. There. I think you've done it. I have done now it. I've done well. These are all ours. A dazzling performance. Oh, clearly, I've been a good influence. <laughs> ah, now you can try that challenge again later in the collectibles chapter. You can play against a friend to see whose potion making skills are sharper. For now, let's get on with your potion. There are our roots in that jar. Move one over to the board. Up to the board. That's the way. Time for the knife. Good. That's it. They must be finely chopped for the shrinking solution, so keep chopping. When you've finished, move on to another route. Now swap that to your wand and we can get this lot into the cauldron. That's that lot chopped. Move the bits into the cauldron with your wand. And the next few bits. That's the way. Fine work. Add some more bits. Good. Now to chop some more. Right, time to chop more. They're ready to chop. Now we are ready. Good. That's it. Hmm, this looks ready. Swap to your wand. And the next few bits. That's the way. Pop it in the cauldron. Fine work. Add some more bits. That's the way. Fine work. Add some more bits. There. Must be go. one more now set. Now that's enough to be going on with. Swap back to the knife. Now, good. Finally chop them. Swap to your wand, then you can add it all to the potion. And the next few bits. And the next few bits. Ah, uh, there we go. We are on our way to a fine shrinking solution. Now, quickly, we need two more ingredients. Two more ingredients, eh? Well, pick up the bottled hair decap. There now. In it goes. That will do. Put it down. Wormwood next. Now it looks as though that wormwood needs a good shake oh. to get it loose. Take harder than that. Get it going. Good. Set those young muscles to it. That's the way. Now the spoon. That's it.
And is it ready? Have we done it? Aha! Many potions like this one must be drunk to have an effect. However, toads absorb liquid through their skin. That's why they're so useful to the potioner. Pick up the bottle and dip it in the cauldron to get a potion sample. Now dip the bottle into the cauldron to fill it up with the potion. Let's pour a drop onto the slimy little fellow. Now let's... Hmm. Oh, ho, ho, he's floating. Or not, that means you're on the right track. I'm as surprised as you are, I'm sure. He's like that toad balloon in Shrek. <laughs> down, down. How sweet. Off he goes. And another collectible ingredient. Now, when you're finished with this chapter, you can close the book and choose the concoctions chapter. There, you can experiment to see what magical mixtures you can create. Our potion is brewing well so far. Now comes the tricky part. Turn the page. You'll enjoy this one. <laughs> I always did. Fresh leech juice is needed for the shrinking solution. Oh yes, I meant it about getting your hands dirty. Oh, we shall study a specimen first. Point at that fine anatomical picture and press the move But Terribly misunderstood creatures, leeches. Hirudo medicinalis, the medicinal leech. Popular among muggle healers who believe that the blood-sucking creatures are able to treat illnesses and useful to wizards in potion making. Let's see how friendly this little specimen is. Just put your hand flat on the page where the hand mark is. Ah! There. Doesn't hurt, does it? Quite Gross. ingenious. Right, after that oh, it's close huge. encounter, time to learn more about our little friend. Right, we'll let go get now. The magnifying glass. You can use your magnifying glass to look right inside the leech. You need to find all three of the little notes. Remember, look and hold the move button to read. <clears throat> Body. An adult leech can consume up to ten times its body weight in a single meal and swells to many times its normal size. <clears throat> sucker. This sucker attaches the leech to its victim where it bites into the skin and begins its feast. Ew. <clears throat> Head. Leech spit contains an anticoagulant, a substance which prevents blood from clotting, so they can feed on their victim to their heart's content. Now pick up your wand. Good. Pick one up with your wand and drop it into the bowl, ready to be juiced. Good. Now put a few more in. You can juice them all at once. That'll do. Swap to the pestle and juice the leeches. You have at it then, squash them. And don't be shy. You can really tap your controller down. You have the juice. Find your <laughs> wand and pick up the bowl, ready to pour it into the cauldron. You have the juice. <laughs> pour. Very good. He said that so, like, intensely. Now, it must be slowly stirred. Carefully. Nearly there. The spoon next. That's right. Now, Yay. the final two ingredients. Powdered rat spleen and cowbane. 
Ah, the rat spleen is sticking. Shake it to release the powder. Now tilt it up into the cauldron with it. Now tilt it up into... There. Last one. Now pour. There you go. You've done it. Now it must be slowly stirred. Carefully. We're nearly there. Swap to the spoon. Good. Keep going. And now heating it. Steady now. Good. And another... It won't get any hotter. Whoa. There we go. Yes, another ingredient to try in the concoctions chapter. Now, while the potion brews, I've left a story of my exploits with the shrinking solution in the book as further proof of my genius. Turn the page <laughs> to hear it. Okay. A tale of the shrinking solution. To read the story, point your wand, then press the move button. My shrinking solution is superior, but there are many variations, as you shall see. Wizards have been using shrinking solutions for many years. They are particularly convenient when transporting livestock. As an entire... Now what was it? The story is missing some words. You can try different words to see what comes next. Let's try gorillas in this story first. Point at the word and press the move button. Oh my. No, I don't think that sounded right after all. <clears throat> when you're ready, you can use your wand to choose the other word and help the story. As an entire herd of pigs can be carried in the pocket. <laughs> There was also the famous case of wizard Samuel Plunkett, who poured shrinking solution into the well of a village that had persecuted him, then spent his birthday chasing the shrunken villagers in hobnail boots! <clears throat> <laughs> now, there are other things to see in my story. There, see? That glint of light shows that there's something to see. Point again and press the move button. There's lots to see in each of my stories. Now, try rotating the book around so you see around at the back of the houses. Keep the book flat on the floor and rotate. Make sure there's nothing around here. Turn the page. Our potion must be ready to test. There now. Point at the owl and press the move button. Turn the book. Look all the way around it. We're not there yet. Turn it all the way around. Going. Keep going. Whoa.
This is a most edifying story for the young potioneer. Interested? Use your wand on the pay. My shrinking solution is superior, but there are many variations, as you shall see. Guess we'll have to do that again. Don't worry, the pages are still here. Just move the book about a bit. Wizards have been using shrinking solutions for many years. They are particularly convenient when transporting livestock. As an entire... As an entire herd of pigs can be carried in the pocket. There was also the famous case of wizard Samuel Plunkett. Who poured shrinking solution into the well of a village that had persecuted him. Then spent his birthday chasing the shrunken villagers. I wanna see if I can get everything you say. <clears throat> Ah, there we go. And my own version of this classic potion is the best you will find. It is so powerful that a small amount spilled on the grass outside my house caused an entire flock of sheep to... Uh, what happened to the sheep? Caused an entire flock of sheep to shrink. Oh, tiny sheep. Sheeplets. To lambs the size of woolly mice. They made excellent ear warmers on a particular <laughs> day on the island of Hermitray. Do I not get to see the rest or my shrinking solution is superior, but there are many variations as you shall see. Oh, I'll cancel that guys. I'm not looking at it again for like the third time. Let's just turn the page now. Yes, it smells nearly ready. Time for the final touch. Use your wand on the left-hand picture. Now we've got a cauldron full of ingredients. All you need is a wave of the wand to make it into a finished potion. Now hold down the move button, trace the shape which appears, and clearly say, Reducio! Reducio! You have it! Yay, we did it, guys! Pick up that flask there. Now dip it in the cauldron to fill it. Now put that down. There! A fine shrinking solution. It seems you're not entirely useless. Oh, thank you for the backhanded compliment. Now time for our first challenge. It's our chance to show this championship that we mean business. I have a feeling our shrinking solution will come in handy. Use your wand on the map of the championship and let's see what's in store. Let's see how the championship looks this year. Fairly hazardous. Quite deadly, yes. Standards haven't slipped, I'm pleased to see. It's <laughs> just as perilous a potioneering prize as ever.
Oh dear. It looks as though the Mountain Buffalo Champion has disturbed the resident river troll. Be very careful, the river troll is strong, violent, and stupid. Troll's skin is thicker than that of a rhinoceros and repels most incantations and spells. Fortunately, we are potion makers. If we could find him some food, we could dose it with the shrinking solution. Right. We need to find the troll some fish, but to catch fish, we need bait. Try that forest over there. Point and press the move button. Let's see if there's any worms about that we can use for fishing. Tap the ground with the handle of your trowel to tempt them out into the open, then scoop them up and collect them in the bucket. <laughs> Tap the ground with the handle of your trowel to tempt them out into the open, then scoop them up and collect them in the bucket. the ground with the handle of your trowel to tempt them out into the open, then scoop them up and collect them in the bucket. That's what I'm doing. They're juicy worms. <laughs> Quick, scoop them up. Good. Now drop it into the bucket. Quick, scoop some up. Quickly scoop up some worms. Just use the trowel like a spoon. Now scoop some up. Nothing like fresh worms. How many do I need? Loads of worms. Tap the ground with the handle of your trowel to tempt them out into the open. Then scoop them up and collect them in the bucket. Some up. Now scoop some up. Right, time to fish. There, let's try that stream for catching fish. With this bait, we should be able to catch fish. Tilt up your book to slide the bait into the water. Tilt your book away from you to slide your worms into the water. It seems the troll has taken a fancy to the red ones. Let's try to catch some of those. A few more. Good. The there we go. Like this. Now, let's return to the bridge to give the troll his little snack. Sounds good to me. Let's see how he likes our fish with a dash of shrinking solution. Pick up the bottle to douse the fish. That's it! It actually smells worse if that's possible. Now we need to feed the troll our poisoned... Uh, I mean, fish and fish. First, we need to get his attention. Try shouting at the troll. And, uh, you there, troll! Anything you like, you... Oh, he's stinky! Hear, oh, well, something's got his attention. He's got confused. Try using your stunning spell. That will really get his attention. Now flick your wand sharply towards the troll. Got him! Hit him a few times! Trolls are very tough! Keep at it! That's it! Now, use your wand, pick up the fish, and fling it towards him. That's it! 
Go on, eat it. <laughs> that shrinking feeling. Oh, tiny arms, first of all. Oh, My it's quite cute like that. Powerful brew. Well, he certainly won't stop us passing by now. Uh, careful, he's small, but he may still have his teeth. Further into the garden, I can almost smell that golden cauldron. Onwards to the next chapter. Now, I know you're eager to hear a little bit more about me. Aren't you thought so? Ever since I was old enough to play potion making with a small bucket and a handful of worms, it had been my ambition to win this. The Wizarding School's Potions Championship. The most famous and prestigious of all potions tournaments. As you can see, young witches and wizards from around the globe congregate every seven years in this enchanted garden full of rare and dangerous plants and fearsome creatures past which they must battle, brewing potions as they go to win the fabled Golden Cauldron at the summit of the Central Hill. As the winner, I will uh, I mean you I, will me. be given the opportunity to brew a new and unique potion in front of the crowds. How many nights did I fall asleep dreaming of displaying my talents to an applauding throng, stirring in rare and undiscovered plants, creating hitherto unknown magical effects? I wrote this book, dreaming that one day it would accompany a great potioneer to the championship and help them lift the fabled cauldron. But it should have been mine. He's a bit We've bitter. We've taken our first steps towards greatness. Or you have, rather. Now all that's required of you is to get to the end safely. I'm sure you'll perform admirably. And if not, someone more talented is sure to come along and pick up my book. Just close your book and turn to the front cover to pick the next chapter. Right, which chapter is next? Use your wand on the glowing spot to choose. Ready for the next chapter. Okay guys, I'll stop this episode here and on the next chapter it looks like we'll be doing the beautification potion. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.